Greetings, folks. It is late night Tuesday, February the 5th, 2019. In fact, I'm just over 12 hours from my morning commentary. My name is Tom Lyon Weaver, and this is my late night commentary. Well, okay, so now why am I doing this? Because this is something that just happened this evening. And I thought, you know, I am going to share this. Facebook. <laughs> uh, I, why does anybody stay there? <laughs> I, I just don't understand it. I know I'm I'm really going to cut back on Facebook. Uh, they have played games with me for five years and nearly banned me one time. And I, you know, they're so they've been playing games with me for a long time, and I've just about had it. Now they're doing it again. They are blocking some of my posts. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I know they say something about community standards. Okay. Well, I wrote an article called Global Warming Index. Now, I have, it used to be my group, but uh, the last time, <laughs> the last time, uh, Facebook messed around with my account I lost just about everything including some friends and groups and you name it and I I, I actually deleted my account I didn't want to go back but you know there are certain people there that I care about deeply and I don't, I don't want to lose touch with them and that's Basically, right now, that's the only reason I'm staying on Facebook. Uh, I don't need them. There are other places to go. Uh, there's this site called MeWe. And if you uh, go to Google and Google MeWe, you'll find it. Uh MeWe doesn't play the games. It's it's very similar to Facebook. But they don't play the games. And they respect your privacy. So, I'll be spending more time on MeWe than on Facebook. Uh, other Also, there's Twitter. You know, Twitter isn't playing games with me like Facebook is. Now, every once in a while, I do something that does that goes against their system, not necessarily their community standards. You know. Anyway, so I wrote this wrote this article called "Global Warming Index," and I posted it in Pennsylvania Weather Plus. Well, guess what? Tonight, I find it's been blocked. Now, it's been there for quite some time. Now they decide to block it. And they said it goes against community standards. Well, what the hell are these global, uh, I mean, these community standards that a weather article <laughs> violates? <laughs> I, 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 I kid you not. It was just about weather. Anyway. So, global warming goes against Facebook community standards. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's incredible, and, and and they've been they I I post uh, country music once in a while. They block some of that, uh, you know. So I I really wish I knew what their community standards were. All right. Now, I'm going to share with you an article that was on a site called Steemit. 
It's entitled, Why I No Longer Use Facebook as My Primary Social Media. And it's by Colin Howard. And it was uh, posted last year. He says, Like many people, Facebook used to be my first choice for social media. For years, I didn't consider any alternatives to Facebook, even when popular alternatives arrived, such as Twitter, Instagram, and others. I stuck with the Zuck. For all my online social media use. Eventually, I began using the platform to speak out about various political and socio-economic issues that I was passionate about. I knew this material would be somewhat controversial for many of my friends, but I felt the people in my life needed to hear it. For context, this took place around 2010, 2011. <laughs> I, I, 2010 to 2011 is when I start having problems with Facebook too. Anyway, when, when the political climate was nowhere, back to the article, when the uh, political climate was nowhere near as toxic and tense as it is today, I got on a, la on a large soapbox and likely alienated many friends in the process. Over time, I stopped posting about such issues as I had likely fallen into my own echo chamber. I'm curious how many people unfollowed me during this time. And I'm sure a few folks got fed up with my rants. I ultimately stopped using Facebook to post anything. Aha! <laughs> I'm getting there, friend. There were days when my consciousness was completely distracted from my actual day-to-day -day life as I was eagerly awaiting the response to a thread or status update. I realized that this wasn't the way I wanted to live my life. Okay, let's see what else he says about Facebook. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to find out where he says why He's not using Facebook as much as before. Um, anyway. Uh, do, do, well, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. But I'm going to post uh, the, um, the link to this article, and you can read it for yourself. It's a, it's a rather lengthy article, and I could probably spend 15 minutes reading it. Uh, but let's see. Um, uh, oh, anyway, okay. Uh, so, folks, I'm not the only one that's having problems with Facebook, I'm sure. Uh, he had problems with Facebook, and he doesn't use it as much as he used to. So, my question, why does anybody stay there? I mean, they don't care about your privacy, and they and they assume ownership of anything you post. Yeah, did you know that? I mean, there are. It's it's a a good platform, if it was used the right way, and and if they had people that run the thing that care about people instead of I. I don't know why they do what they do. So, folks, I, why do you stay? If you're on Facebook, I mean, look, I don't know what their community standards are that prevent an article about weather. <laughs> you know, I mean, Twitter, they don't do that. MeWe doesn't do that. You know, why does Facebook play these silly little games? Anyway, so I have just left almost every group on Facebook. I will not be posting there anymore. Well, not much. I still have a few groups left. But 
the only thing, one of the things I'm going to use Facebook for is, well, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> if it gets back to Facebook, they might ban me. <laughs> well, they might do that anyway. But uh, listen, uh, if you go to my commentaries here on YouTube, if you ever listen to any of them, every once in a while, I rant and rave about something. And yet, YouTube doesn't take any action against me. Now, either they don't have community standards or, or they're not just as stringent as what Facebook is. I mean, I'm sure if I, if I, well, I did, I talked about global warming, I talked about climate change, and, hey, it doesn't seem to be a bad thing. Anyway, so, uh, on Twitter, my Twitter name is Grover Cleveland. You know, I, I, I love Grover Cleveland. If you look up, up his presidency, he was a good president, good man. And he always tried to do what is right. And so, anyway. So that's my Twitter name. And, you know, you can follow me there. Uh, you can join me at MeWe. Or you can just keep on following me here at YouTube. But the fact is, I've had it with Facebook. Okay? I, I, I just, I've had it with their meddlesome dictatorial community standards, if that's what they are. So, but yeah, you can read this article by uh, Colin Howard. I will, I will give you the link. Um, so, that's my commentary for tonight. You have yourself a good night. Hope you get a good night's sleep and wake up refreshed tomorrow, at which time I'll probably do another commentary. Okay, thanks for listening.